Hey guys, what is going on? Thanks for coming back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to show you just a cool little trick. It is going to be a registry hack. Don't worry, I've got the registry files for you. All you gotta do is load them and I will show you how to do that here momentarily. So if you guys know about disk cleanup, you go and run that from time to time. So if we just type in here, okay, disk cleanup and we run disk cleanup. It's easy to find, easy to pull up, and when you do pull that up, you have a drop down here of what disk that you want to scan and clean. But what if there were a way to open up your file explorer here um, and just simply right click on the drive that you want to clean and have a cleanup icon in here? Because by default, that is not in here. So that is what I'm going to show you guys today on how to add your disk cleanup here. So I've put a link down in the description below. Um, I've got some registry files prepared and I've uploaded them to my Mediafire account. Um, and I wanted to show you guys this uh, firsthand. I want to download these from the same link that you will be downloading so you know that they are safe. I'm running them on my own computer and they are just simple registry files. So once you click on the link in the description below, it will take you to this. Uh, page and you simply click download right here as you can see add a remove cleanup from context menu is what the full thing says 833 bytes pretty small so we just click on that I'm gonna throw this on my desktop here to make it easy to work with and I'm gonna minimize that now this is pretty easy um, I don't want to do an update for Firefox leave me alone Okay, so this is pretty easy to do. As you can see, we've got our download right here. It is in a zip file. So what we do is simply, let's just double click this and it will bring that up. And I'm just gonna grab both of these, highlight them both, right click and hold, drag out, drop, and hit copy here. Get that out of the way. So now as you see, there are two files here that this came with. One is to add cleanup to menu and the other ones to remove cleanup from menu. And I will just show you here, if we right click on this, let's go to edit with notepad plus plus. I mean, you can see it is nothing but um, taking you to the registry, creating this D word value and a couple other commands. So there's no maliciousness here. It is a simple uh, registry file. Um, and I will go ahead and run this on my machine to show you that. So let's close that out and just double check. We right click here. There is no cleanup, but once we double click on the file here, add cleanup to menu, uh, you're gonna say, yep, yeah, go ahead and run it. And we're gonna say yes to that and then just okay. Now, once you right click on this, voila, you have the cleanup button. And I'll show you that is what that is. You click that and it will bring up the information for the C drive or whatever right click you do on this because as you see I do this on the D drive it also shows up and the E drive as well um, so that has added that for any drive that you access through File Explorer and then you simply just go through here and decide hey what do you want to delete you can do your program files temp internet files so on and so forth uh, make sure if you want to keep things in your recycle bin Mine's empty right now, but make sure that if you want to keep the recycle bin, don't check mark that because it will get rid of all of it. So once you have everything selected that you want, you simply hit OK and um, it will clean up those files. Actually, I think you cl click clean up system files here. Yep, then it goes into the whole thing here. So that is all there is to that, guys, to add it. Um, now say for instance you go, you know, it's just easier for me to run it manually. I don't really want it there. Not a problem. That's what this remove cleanup from menu is for. And again, I will show you. Let's right click and edit this. And that is nothing more than removing what you put in there with the first file. It just completely gets rid of it. So let me run that to show you it's a safe file. We're going to hit run. Yes and OK. And if we right click, the cleanup icon is gone. So guys, that is all there is to that. I kind of like it, so I'm gonna keep it on mine. Make sure, yep, there it is. 
But anyway, guys, that is all there is to adding cleanup to your context menu is what this is called. So guys, if this was helpful to you, let me know in the comments below and click that thumbs up and consider subscribing to me for future content. Thanks, guys.